guys welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back bestie and if you're new to the channel hi good one there yeah. so as you guys have seen from the title of the video we are doing another story time because why the hell not and today's story time is titled the first time i came home wasted all right let's get into the story time so i'm going to give you guys a bit of a backstory I don't know if it's, it's a backstory, but yeah. So this was back in high school. That's why it was such a big deal. And if it's not obvious, my parents are African. So it was it was never gonna fly. So I think I was in grade ten. It was fifteen in grade ten. And it was a school bry. Uh, it was a school bry. So if, if you went to a South African school and you've been to a school bry, you know essentially what goes down there. So my friends were not really like the type of people who would sneak alcohol in and stuff like that. But they were friends with people who usually did that. And I don't know if you guys remember Zulu from the previous story time, but Zulu and his friends were usually the ones who would sneak in. I'm gonna call them illegal substances because they were illegal to bring around in school. Right? Is the day of the buy, and usually we would write a test in the morning before we went up to the sports field. So in the school that I was in, the sports field was at the very top. You had to climb like a billion stairs to get to the top yeah so we would write a test and then we'd line up outside and we would essentially get escorted to the field right i was friends with this girl well we were still friends but i don't want to like expose her so i'm gonna give her a nickname as well i'm gonna call her joy because our time together just gave me so much joy so joy and i had been friends for about a year at that point we only started being friends end of grade 9 beginning of grade 10. actually beginning of grade 10 sports day that's when we really like officially officially became friends so she was friends with zulu zulu and i was still like in a in a weird place but it was like you know zulu gave joy a bottle of cruise the black bottle the normal cruise right oh my gosh that was the first time i've ever had it he kept i think space muffins or something like that uh with him like on his person so when we went up to the sports field um the rcls didn't search us because we were nerds, we spoke English all the time. Like it was giving these people would never. Little did they know. <laughs> but I was never gonna be the one to hold that bottle. Because I remember my heart was beating so fast. I knew what Joy had and I was scared as fuck. Like I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna get caught. Like my heart was pounding out of my chest. I could barely breathe. And I remember getting to the top of the stairs and one of the RCLs was like, Are you okay? And I'm like, you know, these stairs are gonna kill us. Like making a little joke, like girl, but like little did you know I had something on my person. Okay, not on my person, but my friend had something and I was worried on her behalf. Cool, so we get to the sports ground zulu doesn't show so like one of the rcls like informs us that oh we found some things on zulu so zulu's not going to be attending the bry and yada 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 i think that's what happened Roy and i just decided to go to the bathroom and just take shots like we were taking shots like we were drinking water coming out of the tap basically and at some point we were so wasted to a point where i was just sitting on the grass one of my previous registered teachers was just staring at me and i was staring at her back and in my mind i'm like keep it together keep it together like you cannot you cannot look intoxicated because you're going to be in so much trouble they're gonna call your parents what people don't understand what people don't understand <laughs> i remember that's what i was thinking and luckily she didn't come up to me she didn't say anything to me i still to this day don't know whether she could tell um that i was essentially drunk out of my mind right okay 
so the bride ends like we buy we eat whatever we walk down um there was like a little tar road so when we left the sports field we wouldn't okay you could like use the stairs again but like who wants to do that so there was a tar road on the side which was also like an access to our sports grounds so everybody would just walk out that way so we walked out um we went outside and uh the people who didn't get to attend the bride it was after school so everybody was essentially leaving so zulu comes out he comes to joy and i and he asked how guys what happened with the bottle we gave him the bottle it's basically like almost done he's like how oh, guys Manje, like what happened we're like hey dude we, we waited so we're like taking shots while we're waiting for you and we found out later that you're not going to be you know joining us because um yeah you got caught so yeah this other 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 guy who's also a friend of mine at the time comes we're gonna call him l so l comes and he's like hey Ria, what's going on i see l is a bit so I'm like, dude, what are you drinking in your thingy? And he tells me, no, it's just some what I don't even remember what was in there, but there was a lot in there. So I'm like, yeah, let me have some, you know? And then we're all basically like chilling there. Elle, a couple of my friends and I, Zulu just moved because like he never really had out that much with us. So he went and went to go chill with his own friends. I was with my friends and I was there. So Elle was basically talking about how like remember when you told us that you went to Northwest and your friend bought this super cheap, ridiculously cheap bottle and you guys almost died. And I'm like, yeah, I remember. And he was like, I think we should buy that bottle and see if we die. <laughs> At this point, Elle and I were already too drunk drunk and i'm the type of person who when i'm like lit you could tell me let us walk to the donna and we'll literally walk to the donna right now that's the type of person that i am when i'm lit you know he's like to me you know what we should do that let's convince like our other friends to do that and you know it's just one bottle there essentially a hundred of us and what could go wrong girl yes what could go wrong? Hey. <laughs> okay, so it is a Friday. We all get into the taxi. My friends are there. Rasta was there. You guys remember Rasta from the previous story? Rasta was there, but I don't think she was drinking. There was my other friend A, my other friend N, and G. Decide to tell our driver that you know what, can you please uh, stop at Mayville because we want to get McDonald's. We all stop at McDonald's. It was a drive, it was a drive through. No, we like he parked by the side, people went into McDonald's. So Elle and I just quickly ran to the store. Like we had decided with everybody that listen, this is the bottle we're gonna get. It's 80 Rand, let's all contribute. Da 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 da. Shop. So we all contribute. L goes to the bottle store. I don't enter the bottle store because I was still a bit iffy about bottle stores. I felt like people would know that like I'm underage. Even though I do not look underage, have never looked underage. It was just like a mental thing for me, right? So L goes in, he comes back, he's like, you know what, they don't have the bottle that you're talking about, but they have this bottle. It's called like white rum, whatever. So the one I had told them about was called black rum, and it was like I think 80 rand and it was like one day so it was it was bad guys but the one we found was a white rum and i think it was about 120 the bottle was quite nice and it wasn't like a huge bottle so we're like oh yeah we're not really gonna get that drunk yeah so we also bought like fanta orange i think i don't know who dashes with fanta orange but it seemed like a pretty good idea at the time so we're trying McDonald's, we're drinking in our cups. Do you understand? We get to where we all live. So there's a park and then we're all at the park. We decide, no, we're gonna get off by the park. And we end up getting off there. 
when I tell you, when I stepped foot outside of that taxi, that sun almost dropped me to the ground. And that should have been the first indication for me to just go home and sleep it off. At least, like, I arrive before my mom does. But I didn't do that. I was with my friends. Yo, guys, I don't know where, like, what happened to the videos and the pictures, but we were drunk out of our minds. We were falling all over, stumbling. There was just a lot going on. There was a lot going on, right? And then it started to get a bit late. L, I was like, Ray, you need to catch a taxi. Mm, I think we should give him like a proper name because I'm kind of forgetting. I'm gonna call him Leroy. Ray, you should catch a taxi and go home. And I'm like, yo, I'm not catching a taxi by myself because as you can see, I am not fine. I feel like I'm gonna collapse. I feel like I'm not okay. I need water. Like, please take me home. Leroy gets on a taxi with me, and immediately when we get off the taxi at the corner of my house, off the taxi at the corner of my house, and I tell Leroy, uh, -uh I can't go home like this. Like, something needs to happen. I am not okay. I tell him, let's go to my other friend's house. So we go to my other friend's house. She lived like two streets away from my house and where you get off the taxi is actually her street because she used to live like basically so we walk to her house we get to her house i'm screaming at the top of my lungs friend friend like i was calling her by her name but like i'm not gonna say her name so i was saying friend 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 so friend eventually comes out and i tell her yo dude i'm like fucking drunk and I'm so scared to go home. I don't know what to do. Please cover me home. So now we're walking. It's friend, Leroy, and I. I'm walking in the middle. I'm literally like this. And they're holding me. Because I couldn't walk by myself. I just, I couldn't. We went, like, to my neighbor. When I was still friends with her. Like, we went to her house. And basically, they explained what was going on. Because I was... I was quiet this entire time. I couldn't speak. I couldn't master up the energy to speak, but I could very much gather what they were saying. So Elle is like, uh, Leroy is like, you know what? I can't like be the one to take you home. And I'm like, no, I insist. I want you to be the one to take me home. Put me in my room. Make sure I'm safe. I don't feel safe. <laughs> so Leroy is like, okay, cool, no problem. So we get in the house ask my aunt if my mom is home and she's like yeah she's home and i'm like okay so we're walking to my room i'm thinking my mom is like in her room because she's usually in her room sleeping when she comes back from work how i open the door to my room my mom is in my room sleeping so when i open she opens her eyes and she looks at me and she's like what's going on like she's shocked like what's going on like i'm shocked because i'm like what are you doing in my room like, i was staring at my mom like what are you doing in my room like i was genuinely confused from the bottom of my heart I was like girl what are you doing here ariana what are you doing here you know she's like to me like basically are you drunk like in like our whole language and i'm like looking at her like So, <laughs> Lyra leaves, my two friends leave, and she basically jumps out of the bed, and I don't know if this actually happened or what, but she like literally grabbed me by my throat, and when she let me go, I threw up. Was I on the floor? I'm not too sure, guys. Like, this is such a blur because I was wasted get in the bed and i hear her talking to my dad she's like yeah Ria's drunk you know what what you need to come home now guys if you know me you know that growing up i was so scared of my dad so scared because he's my dad <laughs> i'm supposed to be scared of him do you know what i mean homegirl called my dad i'm just like yo guys it's up like it's over i'm dead so I'm just laying in the bed, my heart is beating out of my chest, I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack and I think it took him like 30 minutes to an hour for him to get home, right? So when I got home, I had 
not throughout the drink that I was drinking. So that big chunk of white rum with a little bit of Fanta orange just to add color, not flavor, color. <laughs> I forgot to throw it out. So I still had it and I forgot about it. So when my dad gets home, he didn't come to my room immediately. So he was with um this other guy. I, like I call him my brother, but he's not really my brother. So he comes to the room and he asks me like yo you look so drunk like what did you drink yo guys i was fucking scared at this point i was so scared so i decided to lie i lied i said i didn't drink anything and i started crying to make it believable i didn't drink anything some guys at school were drinking uh something and i asked to take a sip and before i knew it i was like this i don't even drink a lot i don't know what's happening i feel hot i feel cold i want to throw up i was literally doing this <laughs> guys i was literally trying to save my ass because i knew if i came clean and said what really happened mm -hmm. i was gonna get beat up and I was not willing to get beat up. No. Not on that day. Not feeling the way I was feeling. I was already down bad. And me getting in hiding was going to make me feel down better. Do you understand? So I had to lie. So I cried and said, maybe my drink was spiked. Maybe this, maybe that. I drank alcohol, but it was not a lot of alcohol. I just had a sip of someone's drink. And then I was drinking my own drink. And he was asking me, at some point, did I leave my drink? Like, un unintended. Like. And I was basically like, yes, I did, I think. I don't know. But like... The amount of alcohol I drank was not enough to get me to feel the way that I'm feeling. So, so he bombegas, he bombegas, oh, bombeha, oh, bombeha, oh, bombeha. He goes back to my parents, he says, no, this person is not drunk, that alcohol doesn't do this to people, this person was spiked, hey, and you guys know, yeah, like she would tell the truth if she was drinking, hey, blah, blah. So they buy the story. Then I don't know who noticed that cup. I don't know who noticed the cup that I came with. But my dad is like, yeah, if someone's like my daughter, I'm gonna drink this and see and see whether she was spiked or gonna go to the hospital together. That man takes that thing. <laughs> and I'm literally I'm chilling and I'm watching him. And in my mind I'm thinking, it's not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well at all. And at that time, like my dad had just started like drinking and stuff. So I know for a fact that when he came home, he was not exactly sober. Um so when he downed that thing, it was still full guys, and mind you, there was this much straight no straight out this much juice. Uh cold juice. Just for colour, not for flavor. So I see him go. Boom, boom, boom. And the reason why I'm saying he was not exactly so a sober person would take gulps of um a bottle, like bottle like little bottle oh no like of that and I'm just like and then he's like get in the car, I'm taking to the hospital, gonna see like whether they spiked you or, or not. So in the car I'm trying to think, yo, what can I do? What can I say? Like if we get to the hospital and my blood get taken, like they're gonna know I was inside. Yo, I'm scared. So before we pass by the garage, I'm like, I'm so hungry, my stomach hurts. Hey, what, 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 what? We stop by the garage to get wings, and then now that thing is starting to clear by him because he turns like around to ask me like, what, where, where were we going again? And I'm like, we just came to get wings, and then he's like, oh, okay. So we go back home. My mom is annoyed now. She's like, oh, what did they say at the hospital? My dad's like, oh, hospital. <laughs> guys you don't understand that man is so confused like there was a lot going on there that drink was strong strong and yay you know so my mom was annoyed essentially because now she could tell that he's drunk i'm drunk allegedly and yeah that is how i escaped beating that night 
Well, guys, I don't know. We see Punyuka Bam Pelt that night. That was me. I was so scared. But I'm glad, like, nothing bad happened. Like, I, I didn't get beat up, I didn't get in trouble. My parents are quite cool about the situation. But they told me that it should never happen again. And I completely agree. And it didn't happen again, to their knowledge. It didn't happen again. So that brings us to the end of our story time. If you like the story time, definitely give the video a thumbs up, share it, comment, a like. Working, working, everything. Jordan is trying to ruin my little setup here. So I will see you guys on the next one.